Hi everybody! For those of you, I want to thank everybody who watched the preview and commented. That is so awesome. I was so excited. And I want to thank you all for joining me. I'm going to start right now with the headband that I made in the preview because I had some questions about it. So I'm going to go a little bit slower and just show you exactly what I did. So the first thing I did is I grabbed my Bodabra silver bow wire. And I guess I better reach over here and get my scissors. And so I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm folding it in half, and I use these 100 yard rolls because for me it's just less work than dealing with the 50 foot rolls. So now I'm taking my wire, folding it in half, and I'm just laying it down into my Bodabra. And I'm gonna tuck it under. And then also, if you guys can let me know where you're signing in from, and um, I would love to know that. So now I'm just taking my tool and I'm just gonna scrunch my tool into my Bodabra. And I'm gonna take another piece of tool and just scrunch this down into my Bodabra. So this is about a five inch wide tool and I'm probably taking about 10 inches of the tool. Gail says hello. Hi Gail! Gail's gonna like tomorrow because, I mean tomorrow, today, because we're using lots of purple. And Gail's purple hues in me, I think, is it Gail Griffin? Okay, I wanna make sure. So now I'm gonna scrunch all that down in here. And then one of the questions I got from Maria on the preview was how did I make the petals? Or where do you buy the petals? And actually you don't buy them. You cut about a five inch piece of ribbon, and wired ribbon is best and I'm using about a one inch wide ribbon and I just cut the ends to a point. And so now I'm gonna just take and go to the center of my petal and just scrunch it in. And now I'm gonna go to the center of this petal and just kind of scrunch it. And you can see I'm just shaping my petals as I go. Julie said she's from the suburbs of Chicago. Julie oh. said, hi Sandy, Maria said hello. Crystal said, hi, Sandy. She's with her mother. How's your mom doing, Crystal? I actually, I know, I know Crystal and I, I saw some pictures and I've been praying for your mom today, Crystal. I hope she's doing great. Jane said, hi again from Oklahoma and Maria said, love it. Thank you. Thank you guys and everybody for being here. I just, I look forward to my time with every one of you each week. So now I'm just gonna take these two little petals. And now, as you can see on these, on the petal, now these are the leaves. So the leaves you point, the petals you circle, and these are smaller than the leaves. I probably cut about a four inch piece here. And then I made these just, um, you can use any color ribbon. This I did thinking about a little flower girl headband. So just scrunch everything in and take your Bodabra wand and scrunch it all in there. And now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire and pull it through the slip knot, fold it tight, pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, pull it out so I'm not struggling with it. And I'm gonna separate the ends and bring it around to the back. Whoops, oh, there we go. <laughs> Jane said, blessed class and we'll be watching replay when hubby gets home from work. Oh, awesome, thank you. And comment on the replay because I love to hear from you guys. It makes my day when I go and see that people have watched the replay and have commented because I really do go back and watch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my headband and um, I'm going to take the... Um, now I'm just showing you here's the seam. So I'm going to go on the outside. And I like to do this with my headbands. I'm gonna pull the wire through to the inside and then bring it right around the seam back so that the seam is covered. And so there's not wire that's gonna um, go against a little girl's head. So now we're just gonna pull this really tight. Jamie said, love the colors and very pretty. Crystal thank said, you. Kendall Miami, thank you for the prayers. It's been a rough day, but you're lifting your spirit, her spirits up. Oh, yes. I'm so happy, you guys. Crystal, that's so great. And Jeannie, thank you. Stephanie Thomas said hi, Sandy. Oh, hi, Stephanie. I hope you guys got back and ended up having a really good Father's Day. It was really, really nice to see you and your children. They surprised me for a visit. 
So now I'm going to just shape my petals. Uh, and now I'll just shape my leaves a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of bring everything up a little bit. That's the reason that I like to use the wire because the wired ribbon, because it shapes into a flower so beautifully. So you have a really, really simple headband that uh, even the flower girl could make for herself. So it's, I love it. So now we're gonna go on to another pretty extravagant bow. Well, not really extravagant, but like it's a little bit more. Stephanie um, said we sure did. So, so awesome to see you. Julie said so cute. Thank you, Julie. Jane asked, are you going to the crafters convention in October? No, I don't even know about the crafters convention. What is that, Jane? And um, Stephanie, it was awesome seeing you guys and such a good, such a nice surprise. And um, so yeah, let me know what the crafters convention is and where it is. And then also, if you guys can let me know if you have the Bodabra app, if you've been able to download it yet. Gail said XOXO. Crystal said that looks so pretty. Thank you. Maria said, oh my gosh, must try it. And Terry said, love this. Thank you, all of you guys. Now I'm taking my Bodabra bow wire, folding it in half, and I'm just laying it down into the Bodabra. So this is a really pretty, it can be, you know, for a maid of honor or, um, whatever because it's just so simple so all I'm taking is my tool um, and just scrunching my tool down into my bodabra oh obviously first I folded my bodabra bow wire and put it in like I do for all of our bows then what I'm gonna do is take this really pretty shimmery little pick that I don't know where it came from <laughs> but it came off of something and then these pretty roses these are actually wooden roses but they look so beautiful and I know Gail's gonna like this because it's purple. So now I'm gonna take some more tool. Jane um, said design with Scott, how's it going? Maria said the app is great and Gail said, wow, love all the purple. Thank you guys. And thank you for the information on the show too. Oh, and then now what I'm gonna do is just make a little flat and I'm just gonna take the wrong side of my ribbon and put that in here. Then I'm gonna fold it back and again, I'm gonna take the wrong side of the ribbon, lay that in, then I'm gonna to go to the center, and we're just gonna make a pretty bow, but we didn't want tails on it. So now I'm gonna just take, I actually you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, I did this wrong, I should have done that before, but we'll fix it. So now what I'm gonna do is take my um, Bodabra bow wire, pull it through my slip knot, hold my bow down really tight, pull it, now, pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back. Jane said she's waiting for the app on the Kindle. Crystal said, Gail, are you loving this big time? <laughs> Jeannie said, love that, so gorgeous. And Kathy said, love the color. Thank you. Now I would have put this in actually to begin with, but I'm just gonna show you, this is kind of a, a really cool thing. Um, this was actually Michael's idea. Michael's not with us because he's back east with his family. Um, but um, what he suggested, so I'm just gonna tie a knot here and clip it. And then he suggested, let's just shape this up a little bit. Move this around here, bring my flowers up. Krista said it is purple heaven. Brenda <laughs> said hello. Hi Brenda, is it Brenda you said? Yeah. Okay, hi Brenda. And so now, all you have to do is take this and tie this onto the ponytail holder. So isn't that, I better look at it first before I say isn't it pretty? <laughs> but I just think that's such an elegant headpiece. So let me know what you guys think. And yes, you're right, Crystal, it is purple heaven. <laughs> Teresa said hello. Hi, Teresa. Jane said, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, I know, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna let you guys look at it for a second. And now I'm gonna put it aside. And one of the fun things we're gonna be doing, now I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the fact that I do um, every Wednesday, we have a new Bodabra video on our Bodabra blog at bodabrablog.com. 
and we put so we film a lot of videos at once and we're gonna be doing some more so if you guys but they won't be up until like September October November so let me know if you guys have any ideas of special things that you'd like to see me make like holiday center pieces or holiday wreaths or back to school teacher gifts or anything like that because I can do the videos on those topics and now we're planning for September, October, November, and December. So let me know. Okay. Alexandria said hey y'all from Texas. Love it so much. Oh awesome. Hi Alexandria. It's so great that you joined us. So now I'm just gonna make a really super super simple um, hair bow that could be worn by pretty much anybody really. I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm just going to cut a piece and we're just going to make a pretty headband. So I'm going to fold my wire in half and lay this down into the Bodabra, my mini Bodabra. And you can see the difference. The mini really is mini, but it works exactly like the big Bodabra does. So now I'm going to just put my blue ribbon underneath my lace and I'm just centering it. So now what I'm going to do is take the, this, I'll move this over here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to scrunch this down into my mini Bodabra. And I don't want to have any tails on this bow. So I just want to make sure that I keep my blue centered. I'm going to fold it back over. Julie said she's still looking for ideas for curtain tie backs. Oh, okay. We're going to work on that. I'm going to see if we can't do something in a... Um, for a Facebook Live, and I'm gonna I'm gonna defer to Michael because he is a designer. So now you have the two pieces there. So now I'm just gonna take the center. I'm gonna do a little mountain up here and push that down. So then I'm going to just take this pretty whoops this pretty little spray and lay this down in here. Then take my cute little little spray roses. They kind of have like an iridescent feel to them. And go two on each side. And now I'm just gonna take my wand and sort of scrunch everything in. And now I'll take my wire, pull it up and pull it through a slip knot. And hold everything down here. Pull it tight and pull it out. I'm just gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and because this is a wire and I'm gonna be tying it onto the headband, I can just twist. So we're just gonna shape this. I'm just, because because these picks are wired, so I can just bring them up here and shape them how I want. Kathy said, so cute. Thank you, Kathy. And so now I'm just gonna take this and tie this onto my headband. Alexandria said, oh my goodness, that is too cute. Thank you, Alexandria. And then Roxy said, maybe an idea for a Christmas centerpiece for a fireplace mantle. Okay, we'll definitely do that. Jeannie said, loving it all, been using a lot of flowers lately. Gail said, adorable. Maria said, super cute. Isn't that cute? And Jane said, I'm going to catch replay later tonight. Thank you. These are beautiful. Awesome. Thanks, Jane. And everybody, you guys, for joining me. I just, like, love it. I'm going to put this one aside. And now we're going to make another, like, this is kind of a really, really simple little um, hair bow with a little bit of a, a decoration. So it'll be a little dangly. And so I'm going to take my gold. Let's just, I'm just going to kind of clean my mess up here a little bit. Take my gold Bodabra bow wire. And now that's bizarre. I think I must have tied it. Oh, okay, there we go. And cut it here. And I'm going to just fold this in half. Lay it down into my mini Bodabra and fold it under. Now, I don't know if I already asked, I get so, like, whatever, when I'm doing these, but have any of you guys, um, are you new? 
And like, is this the first time watching? Please let me know. And then also, please let me know how you heard about our Bodabra Facebook Lives. So now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna make this really cool. So I've already folded my Bodabra bow wire in half. And what I'm gonna do here is I have this really cute little bangle and I'm gonna just lay this whoopsie daisy. Um, okay, we have a problem, but we are gonna fix it with our Bodabra bow wire. So if you have something that you need to tie into, what I suggest doing is taking the Bodabra bow wire and we're just gonna tie it around here and tie a knot onto it so that I can stick it right into the Bodabra. So I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit to make it work the way I want it to, but I promise it'll be worth the wait. Okay, so, all right. So now I'm just gonna tie another knot just to make sure that it's tight. And I'm gonna just clip these ends here and clip this. And so now I'm just gonna lay this down into my Bodabra. So that's a really good trick if you have something that you need to put in the Bodabra, is just use the Bodabra bow wire. So now I have this two inch ribbon. I have a two inch kind of a burlap wired and a two inch shear. So I wanna put the burlap underneath and I'm just going to lay this down into my mini Bodabra. I'm gonna fold it back and this is how we make our no tail um, hair bows. We're just gonna turn this back and again, I'm just gonna do my little mountain in the middle and scrunch that down. Then I'm gonna to go to the center and I'm going to just go to the middle again and scrunch that in. Then I'm going to find my Bini Bodabra wand and we're just gonna scrunch everything. See, Gail, I told you this would be purple night for you. So now all I'm gonna do here is just lay this in here and I'm just gonna fold it back over and we're just gonna do one more little bow here. Whoops, I think we're gonna do one more bow and just scrunch this. And now I'm gonna just go to the middle here, do my little mountain up and scrunch it down. I'm gonna take my Bodabra wand and really scrunch everything into here. And now, whoops, didn't wanna scrunch. So now we're gonna just take my wire and I'm still holding the bow down really tight while I pull the wire. So now when I take it out, everything is finished. So I'm just gonna bring this around to the back and oh, I had a ponytail holder here, but I guess I forgot to put it on the table. So I'm gonna cut this piece here. And then what I would do is just tie this onto a ponytail holder and you have this adorable little, cute little bow for, you know, just a young lady. I think it would be really pretty for a wedding or any kind of event. So I hope you guys like this. I think it came out pretty pretty. <laughs> if I do say so myself. So we're gonna put this one aside and we're gonna now make a really pretty headpiece. So let's get all of these pieces of cut wire off the table. Kathy said nice, and Judy said super cute. Thank you, guys. I appreciate lots of love. I'm getting lots of love. I love lots of love. I, I oh my gosh, thanks, you guys. Because that makes my day. It makes me feel like what I'm doing is really special. So. Um, and you guys joining me and watching every week is like, it warms my heart so much. I can't even tell you. It's so cool. It's what makes it so fun and I look forward to it. So now I'm going to fold my wire in half and I'm going to lay this down into the bow dapper. I'm just going to tuck ends underneath. And now I have these beautiful pieces of lace, I think. And these are about maybe not quite, about a little more than a half a yard. And so I'm just gonna lay the pieces in here because these are gonna be kind of the, um, to the back of the, to the back of the head because this is going to be on the back. I'm gonna lay this down. And one more. So I have three pieces here. Then I'm gonna take this beautiful 
scrunchy ribbon with the gorgeous gold um, glitter on it. And we're just going, this is about a five inch wide. And I've got about maybe three quarters of a yard that I cut. So I'm just scrunching all of this in. Scrunch that down, grab my wand and kind of scrunch it. And then what I'm gonna do is take this really pretty um, rose and we're just gonna lay that down in here. And I'm gonna take, now this one is about a yard of fabric that I have here. So I'm all I'm gonna do is just scrunch this in. So this is a very, very simple, simple headpiece. And as I, as I said, the, the whole series that we're doing is called Worry-Free DIY Weddings. And the whole idea behind it is these are so simple, simple projects that you can do yourself for your wedding. And it just, it's so special that when you do do it yourself, and it's also extremely economical. So I'm taking the ends, pulling them through my slip knot, holding everything tight while it's still down in the bodabra. I'm gonna pull this out and separate the ends and bring it around to the back. And I have absolutely no idea what I did with the clips that I brought out to use for these, but I'll let you just know that what I would do is I would take the wire and I just tie it around the clip that would go in the hair. So I'm just gonna cut this, but I would tie it around the clip, so. And now what I'm gonna do is just shape this and shape my roses. So here you have, this would be the back of the head and you have this beautiful um, piece that um, a bride could wear. So I hope you guys like it and you can see it's just so, so super simple and that's what's important to me is the easier the better. Kathy said, oh my gosh, love it. Thank you, Kathy. Jimmy said, beautiful. Thanks, you guys. So now we're gonna go on to another project. Let's kind of put all these aside. Um, actually, this one is another really, really super, super simple hair bow. Maria said beautiful. Thank you, Maria. So I'm just gonna take a piece of my Bodabra bow wire. I'm gonna fold it in half, lay it into my mini Bodabra. And I'm just gonna tuck, I think I'm gonna tuck the ends underneath. And so here, I'm kind of going on the same theme, color scheme, that I did for my headband. Whoops, are that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just doing the same thing. I'm laying my lace evenly over the satin, um, the satin blue that I have. And I had it on the wrong side. I wanna have it on the pretty side. So now, and I've already dovetailed the ends. If you're not familiar with how to dovetail, you're gonna fold your ribbon in half and you're just gonna cut the end towards the fold and then you have these really pretty pointed dovetailed. Crystal said pretty, pretty, pretty. Thank you, Crystal. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold it in half so I have the center. So now there's my center and I'm gonna center my, um, my blue ribbon right underneath my light lace and put that in. So it's very, Whoops, I guess I didn't center that as well. So let me make sure I've got it centered. Nope, still not centered. Okay, there we go, now it's centered. And then all I'm gonna do is take this really pretty um, little pick and just gonna lay this down in here. And these ones seem to get unattached, but no big deal. We just lay them into the Bodabra. Take my mini wand and now I'm just going to Take the ends, pull it through the slip knot, hold the ribbon down, and pull it out, separate the ends, and I'm just gonna bring it around to the back and tie a knot. Roxy said these would also work for a quinceanera. Exactly, exactly. I wasn't even thinking quinceanera, but you're so right. And, um, then I would tie this onto a ponytail holder, which of course I neglected to put on the table, but you guys can use your imagination. And this would actually, you're right, these colors would be perfect for a quinceanera. So you have this like really easy bow that's like super quick and super inexpensive to make. 
So now let's do one more project before we close down for the day. Let me see what I have here. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna do this one first. So now I'm gonna take my big Bodabra and I'm going to um, take my silver Bodabra bow wire. And let's just throw all these. And <clears throat> let's just grab this. So what I've done in here is I've cut a piece um, that's about, I don't know how big that is, maybe about 16 inches. And I'm gonna fold it in half. And I've already dovetailed the ends. So I'm gonna find the center and I'm just going to kind of scrunch it down in. Oh, put the wire in first. Then I would be fine. So this wire isn't long enough. I need to get a longer wire. Jean said, love, love that. And Tammy said, pretty. Awesome, you guys. So now I'm folding it in half. Thank you, Tammy and Jeannie. So I'm folding this in half, sticking it in my Bodabra. Now I'm gonna go back where I was a minute ago and make sure I have the right side up, I do. So I'm just gonna lay this down in here and my tails are just gonna go down this way. Then I'm gonna take another piece of the satin, and this is a three inch satin, wide satin ribbon. Just gonna fold, and again, I'm doing this with our no tail bow. And then I'm gonna just go to the center here, and there we go. So you have that. Then what I'm gonna do is take these really pretty pieces of lace that I've just dovetailed the ends, and I'm just gonna find the center, and lay those down in. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with this piece. And then I'm taking the corker ribbon, and like I think I've told many of you, I buy the corker ribbon already curled, so I don't have to do the work. <laughs> and it's so inexpensive to buy, and I think Terry has a link, or we have a link that we can put up. So I'm gonna scrunch all this down. And if you um, need, are watching the replay and you want the link, just write corker link. Make sure you put corker, because sometimes people ask me for links and I don't remember what the link is for. So I'm gonna pull that tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And I'm gonna tie a knot. And again, if I were smart enough to have put my um, and my headbands, I mean my ponytail holders, I would tie this onto a ponytail. And you have this really pretty, let me just straighten all this out, a really pretty bow. So I hope you guys like this one. Let me take a look at it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so, and isn't that just so simple for a wedding? It's like really delicate and really simple. So we are coming to an end. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we're going to have lots more projects next week. I think is next week we're doing patriotic, right? Yeah, we're going to do some really cool patri patriotic projects, hair bows, everything next week. And we have some cool patriotic projects at bodabrablog.com. So make sure you check those out and I will see you guys next week. Same place, same time. Okay. Bye.